Good morning and welcome back to my podcast. This is George Nathaniel for you. As I always do, I come back with very simple topics that relates to each one of you. Well, today there has been a special request from one of my listeners who came in, came in with this topic called Is Calmness Easy? And Is Calmness Possible? Well, I took up the topic and relating to my own life, I made a couple of points and would be happy to share them with you. So coming back to the topic, calmness is not easy but possible. Yes, calmness is not easy but possible. Let me share something that my father always told me. My father said, what's in store cannot be ignored. Accept the truth and find a passage through. Well, these simple words made a big difference in my life. Difficulties is a part of everyone's regime. But we need to live. Coping with calmness is possible over a balanced life. This is something that I have learnt over time. A lot of things in life can be made easier. But what we need to do is try. When we relate to moments in hand, we need to understand that yes, everything is important. But one only needs to pursue what's in hand first and make sure that we have sufficient time for ourselves to pursue the next. We can't be doing everything at the same point of time. What we need to also understand is we need to believe in time. Yes, we need to believe in time. Permanent solutions are worked towards in hardship and preparation over time. So as we prepare and as we go through hardships, we learn and we cross new barriers in our life. Standing strong and believing is very, very important. My father always says, every beginning has its end. And what we need to do is keep working towards betterment. What we should also understand is mindset is the key. We need to start building a very, very strong mindset if you want to control our calmness and if you want to believe that calmness is possible. I can't really talk too much about it, but what I can do is share my real-time experiences, share my routine of how I control calmness in my life. So what I exactly do is, maybe uh, these could be the pointers for today. What I actually do is, I manage a daily routine. So my daily routine is managed around time and planning, priorities and actionables. Most importantly, I try to balance my life. I live my life. I make every moment count. And most, most importantly, I do not get stuck onto anything. So I think these five pointers, I practice them diligently every day. So each one of us can make our own daily routine. Each one of us can make our own checklist. And each one of us can all work towards making calmness possible in their lives. There are difficult moments. There are difficult times, there are difficult situations, there are difficult circumstances. But as we always know, or as we all know, we've been told over time, we've experienced this. Nothing lasts forever. So there is a silver lining in every tough moment. So folks, I'm very generic in all my podcast. I just share my experiences. I share my learnings. I share what I go through. What is important is to understand how each one of us can adapt over our personal lives, over our professional lives, over our wellness, how we can be contributors. And like I said in the beginning of my podcast, calmness is not easy, but yes, it is possible. And relating to what my father said, 
I would like to share it once again. He said, what's in store cannot be ignored. Accept the truth and find the passage true. So folks, as we find the passage true and as we believe that calmness is possible, let us make our lives even better. Let us work towards betterment all across. I hope you like listening to my podcast, which is available on all platforms. And do visit my website, which is georgenathaniel.net. Come in, send in a request, and I'll be more than happy to research and share my experiences. Nobody is perfect, but yes, what we can do is share our own experiences over our way of life. And as we share our experiences, we share our learnings. I'm sure this could be eye openers for each one of us. And like I always say, we need to, we need to be contributors in life. I contribute in my own way. And I encourage each one of you to contribute in your own ways, in making life better, in making people's life better, in making our environment better. I wish you all a wonderful time ahead. This is George Nathaniel. Thank you so much and have a lot of a lot of good times ahead. Plan those good times ahead and wish you a wonderful moment. Thank you so much.